Hey everybody, this is Samantha coming to you again from Scent and Company. First, I would like to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Before I start, if you could please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and if you would be so kind to share my video, I will appreciate it. So I'm coming to you today. It's not gonna be a long video, it's just a short video. I just want to let you guys know about some of my products that I have on my website, Scent and Company. Um, for those who watch my first video, I introduce myself and I talk about how I got into making candle and what kind of candle I make. So I just want to come and share some of the products that I have on my candle currently. Right now, as I as I'm talking to you guys, I'm burning one of my bestseller, one of my, um, this is a eight ounce tin candle that I'm burning right now. I'm gonna show you guys how it's burning and what it's sunlight. I use the wooden wick for my candle because for me, I like it because it lasts long. It's not any soot, the little black smoke that you see when you light a candle mines don't have that and i like the crackling song that come with it especially if you're taking a shower it's very soothing it's very relaxing so i like using the wooden wick to eat your own some people love the the soy wick but for me it's more benefit with the wooden wick and i always go for what's best for not just me but for my customer and also i mean i'm big on like what's more healthy so the wooden wick is more healthy because it cut out all those, th that, that black soot, I, I, I really can't stand it. If you look at certain people's ceiling, the vent, it have like a lot of black mark around it that's from the soot from your candle. The wooden wick, it eliminate that. You still get the scent you want. It lasts longer, you have this nice sound. So for me, I'm gonna go with what's best. So I'm gonna show you how it look and what I'm burning right now. I'm gonna adjust my camera right quick for you guys. So this is one of my candle that I have on my side. This is a tin candle. As you could see, listen to the sound. And there's no black smoke. As you can see here, no black smoke. It's just a clean burn and all the perimeter on, in the container is burning. The wax is melted nicely. So I just wanted you guys to see how one of my candles look. Also, I mentioned to you guys that I am also incorporating my shea butter. I'm gonna show you another candle before I introduce my shea butter. This is another one of my candle, it's called Restore. It smells so good. This is what it look like. You see the wooden wick, it's thick. So when you light it, all of the perimeter is gonna melt. So you know sometimes how you see some candle when you light it, it's like this here have a pile up and here is burning really good. The reason why is because the, depending on the width of your container, you will either need to add two wick if you're using the soy, or if you're using the wood, it has to be thick enough where the whole perimeter is gonna be melted. As I show you in the one that I'm burning, it's not like a big old tunnel here and then it's burning here. It's a clean burn all the way around. So. It's a lot behind making candle. It's not just, okay, I'm gonna make a candle and burn it. I, I, I actually spent a lot of money with doing trial and error before I got it to the perfect setting that I wanted it because I try a different wax. I try different fragrance oil. I try different wax. And I finally came to the one that I'm comfortable with. For me, I use the 100% coconut apricot cream wax. I also use the wooden wick and my fragrance oil is natural. I don't use a lot of fragrance oil when I'm making my candle because I don't want my candle to be to the point where it's too strong 
where people cannot burn it because it's giving them a headache. So when I make my candle, it's a certain percentage of fragrance oil that you can use. I try to stick with um, like about five to six percent. Some people do 10, 11, just to have that, that like overpowering smell. My candle, you still smell it. It's a good scent when you burn it. The hot throw is excellent. The cold throw is excellent. The cold throw is when you open up a candle and you do like this, if it's a loud scent or not. I have a great cold throw. And the hot throw is when you light your candle, how it smell, if it smell of the room, if it's not much of a smell. So I have both. I have great cold throw and I have great hot throw. And I still don't use uh, the 10 or 11% of fragrance oil that I can use. So that's what make my candle different from anyone else. Also, I'm going to be doing custom candle. This is one of my jar that I use for my custom candle. I have this color. I have black. I have the um, clear. And I'm going to be incorporating a few more color. But I add the little diamond to my custom candle because I know my candle is diamond. I believe in my product. I love what I do. It's my passion when I make my candle. I really do enjoy it. I don't just make it just to make it. I really do enjoy making my candle. And I love to see the outcome after I'm finished making it. When I do a test candle, I love to smell it and see like how much perimeter is like really covering. If it's just in the kitchen, if it's in the living room, so that's how I grade my candle. Whenever I make it, I do test burn first just to see how my product burn. So that's why you always get good quality. I don't just make it and just put it on the shelf and sell it to you guys. I test it out first. This was one of my candles that I made for one of my customer. Um, she wanted something for her nail tech and I wanted to make something that match her nail tech. So after I made it, I didn't feel like it was to the point that I wanted it to be, so I kept it and I remade a new one for her to match a nail tech style. So she was very much impressed. She loved it, my, my craft that I did. So I kept this one for myself. And this here is um the Blast. This, it smells so good. This is like one of my best seller, the Blast. It has like a, a strawberry and cream scent to it. This here, I lighted it and then I out it. This is like the clear wax. It feel rubbery, but it's a clear wax. And then I had like design in the area here, but you can't see it now because I light it and I was burning it because I love the scent. So I out it, but you can't really see the detail in the design because I had it lit earlier. So that's why you see the little blackness in the wood because it was lit earlier. So mine have the diamond, this is my scent. And you can um, purchase my candles on my website, Scent and Company. You will have to include the .com. If you do not include the .com, it's not gonna pull up my site. It's gonna take you to other people's sites. So whenever you're searching, please you guys put in scentandcompany.com just like you see here on either my left or my right. I'm not sure which side is gonna show up, but just follow it exactly as it is and you will be redirected to my site. Um, next, like I told you guys, I was gonna add the shea butter to my website. It's finally available on my website right now. This is what my shea butter look like. This is a three ounce jar and when you get this, it has what the name is, this right here. This one is the blast as well. And in the back, it show you the ingredients what's in the candle. The ingredients, what I use in my shea butter, I use the raw shea butter, the raw mango butter, the organic coconut oil, essential oil, and I also add sea moss in mine. For those who know, sea moss is very powerful. They give you energy. It's a lot of benefits to use sea moss. If you look it up, you will see all the benefits that sea moss have when you consume it. 
So I drink sea moss, I make sea moss. So I'm like, okay, let me try sea moss in my shea butter and see what's gonna happen. Cause if you consume it internally, I wanna see what it do externally. So I started adding sea moss and I love how it came out, the texture and everything. It worked well. Um, I had a client that purchased one of my shea butter and she was curling her hair and she had a burn mark right here. And she used my shea butter within two, three days. You can even tell she had a scar on her forehead. It cleared it completely. So that's the effect that the sea moss does. Any cuts or scrape that you have on your skin, it will heal it really, really fast. And it's not what you're thinking. It's, it's not the sea moss. When you use the shea butter, it's not gonna be the clumps and the lumps that you know the sea moss is made of. This hair is liquidized, so it's liquid, so you won't have any clumps on your skin or in this, this, uh, um, this lotion that I have. It smells so good. This is how it look. You see how it's so clear? The texture. It's not your regular blend smell um, shea butter. This here have like a nice light smell to it. So when you put it on, it lasts all day. It moisturize your skin. It keep your skin looking so healthy and so young. So this is one of the size that I have right now available on my website. Hurry over and get yours today. I'm gonna be adding a bigger size um, this is gonna be the bigger size I'm gonna be adding. This is a six ounce and this is a three ounce. See the difference? This here is $11 and this is gonna be $25. This is one of mine that I made for myself. Love this scent. So this is how it look. See, it's a clear, nice pattern there. So what I do whenever you order my shea butter you have the shea butter inside of a nice little black bag and i also add uh, a spoon for my clients who wear nails i know how aggravating it is to dip your nails and have all the the, the cream in inside of your nails so i know it was aggravating for me and i didn't want you guys to go through it so i incorporate a spoon where you can just dip your shea butter. Look at the texture, look at it. See, it's not hard like your normal shea butter. It's like a nice soft texture. Look how it look. This is my skin right now and look when I add the shea butter. Look at the difference. You see, look at the difference. And I'm gonna Rub it all the way in so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Look at the difference. With my shea butter on, this is no shea butter. This is with shea butter. You see how it's so glossy, how it's shining? And I'm gonna rub it in so that you guys could see. That is gonna be the look. I rub it all the way in. You still see the difference. See how it's so nice and clear. I'm gonna show you my hands right here. I'm gonna rub some shea butter. Look at the difference. See the difference here. And this is rubbed all the way in. Look at that. So that's the effect that you get with the shea butter. So I just wanted to come on real quick and show you guys some of my products that I have available. If you head on over to my site, Scent, S-C-E-N-T, a -N -D -C -O -M -P -A -N -Y com is going to take you straight to my site. I will appreciate if you guys will head over there, support me, support my video, like my video, comment, and subscribe. With the shea butter, I have um, six different scents available right now, and I have unisex, I have for men, for women, and this you can use on any kind of skin texture. You could use it in your hair. It's, it's healthy enough for babies, for children, so you don't have to worry. There's no harsh chemicals in there. Everything is all natural, so you don't have to worry about any breakout or anything of that nature. I also have on my website some sample candles. 
So if you're unsure which scent you want to order, you can order my little sample candles and then decide if you like the scent, then you can order the big container. Pretty soon I'm going to be adding some sample shea butter as well, where you can decide on which one you want as well. Because for me, it's like, if I don't know how something smells, it's like I don't want to order it and then if the scent come, I don't like it. So I always think about myself and then I think about my consumer. So I'm going to be adding pretty soon a sample pack for my shea butter as well where you can buy the smaller sample and see if you like it before you go ahead and invest on one of the sizes that I just show you guys. So like I said, I'm not going to be before you too long. I just wanted to come on and share my product with you guys. Pretty soon, I'm going to be dropping a video on how I make my candles. You can reach out to me if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one via Zoom. I can do that with you. I also do candle making classes where I come out to you. I set everything up. And I, you know, show you guys how to make candles for whatever event that you want me to. So if you want to reach out to me, you want to do any collaboration, any kind of promotion, any kind of business partnership, you can reach out to me at my email. It's going to be sentandcompany at AOL.com. I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours. But um, that is my contact if you want to reach out to me. So I do appreciate you supporting me. I appreciate you liking my video and sharing my video and also subscribing. I'm trying to make it to a million subscriber. So I need your, you guys' help to help me get there and also support my business. I am grateful and I'm thankful for all your support and once again i just want to say thank you you be blessed and you have a great day bye bye